HCAM awarded some of their top volunteer contributors, station manager Jim Cousins and HCAM board president Ashok Ghosh presented the awards. Winners included a few of the many volunteer community members on the scenes and behind the scenes of HCAM programs. All right, so the first one is um, going out to um, Evan Bishop and Doug Scott. So I know um, Evan could be here tonight. Come on up, Doug. And, and Dr. McLeod is going to be accepting the award on behalf of Evan Bishop. Three years ago, I met Doug Scott, the subject matter leader, which means department head, um, for the technology and engineering department. And we launched the HHS TV After School Club. Doug's stated goal for his department was to give the students exposure to real life activities and knowledge, stuff that lived within and beyond the school walls. He wants the students to see what they can do and what they can accomplish. Evan Bishop, the high school principal, had a complimentary vision in, that intersected with Doug and myself. He wanted something that could connect the school community in a lively and real way. Evan is always super passionate. When I talk about the latest kind of lift up, which is the mannequin challenge, by the way, he said, that's great, but I want what's next. Um, without their support and unflagging encouragement, HHS TV could not have thrived. Whenever, whenever I had what I felt was an issue, they would both say, that's not a problem. What do you need? And although I am biased, that club is doing important work in connecting the high school community. So thank you very much. The next award um, is going to Steve Sweetapple, who also couldn't be here. He is actually, I think, out of state. Uh, he's been an HCAM volleyball announcer since 2011. He was a fan and a parent of the now JV um, volleyball coach, Emma Sweetapple and started by filling in for Mike Terosian after being recruited by Kurt Cooprider. Mike tried to count the number of games that uh, Steve has worked on over the last six years, but it was taking way too long. So we're just appreciative for him, and on behalf of him, thank you. And our next award goes to John Ritz. John produces Concerts on the Common, three seasons of Hockington Music Department concerts, fall, winter, and spring middle school and high school plays, and co-produces several seasons of sports, girls and boys basketball, football, and volleyball, and pretty much always directs Wake Up and Smell the Poetry on the third Saturday of the month, and most Margie and Lisa shows. Uh, one of our most prolific crew members, always eager to help, always suggesting interesting and novel ideas, and always looking to make HCAM the most unique and vibrant community TV station around. He really is um, a stalwart supporter. All right, we have one more uh, producer of the year award this year, and that award goes to Kathy McLeod. Oh, nice. Not nice. <laughs> Sometime about a year ago, the seed was planted in my brain. What if you taught a high school class in TV production? So starting with my wife, continuing with the board of directors, and then through Doug Scott and Evan Bishop, the seed grew until I found myself seated before Superintendent Dr. Kathy McLeod talking about that <laughs> class. Of course, I knew Kathy. Um, she has always been interested and supportive of sharing the school system with the town through HCAM, and we had been working on a TV series together, Highlights from the Hill, which is an excellent window into the things going on at HPS. Kathy was instantly on board, and with her support, HHS TV and video began this year. When the previous superintendent was leaving the position, he said to me, I wish that I had done more to interact with HCAM. In my opinion, Kathy will have no need to ever say that. So thank you for all the great right. I have one more award to present tonight, and this is the Michael J. Prate Award. Michael Prate was the inaugural um, president of the Board of HCAM and uh, served there for the entire time since, since the beginning of HCAM until last year uh, when he moved down to the Cape. And, um, this award was named for him because it's an award that we give out annually to recognize a crew member who has displayed an outstanding level of commitment and dedication to quality 
And in fact, you're gonna, you've already heard a little bit of this person's dedication tonight. The person selected this year by the staff of HCAM is Dr. Bruce Kyle. So more than 10 years ago, 11 or a little bit more, um, Bruce was the guiding force behind Physician Focus, a show which reaches over 90% of the cable market in Massachusetts. And I know you've all heard it before, we have great statistics. No doctor that I've ever approached who has been on the show has not said, I get seen all the time. All my patients are telling me. They saw me on TV. People who live in Boston and go to the Berkshires on vacation are recognized in wine shops. So the show has a at long legs and a very far reach. Endless conversations about programming for HCAM, either bringing our cameras into town government or bringing the residents into our studio is a hallmark for Bruce. I don't ever meet Bruce when he doesn't say, hey, you know what, I think we should like, you know, do a show about this, we should do a show about that. Uh, in, in my life, if I talk to anyone long enough, I will inevitably say the words, you should have a TV show. <laughs> I find that everybody has an interesting um, aspect to their life. Well, Bruce is kind of the reverse of that, where everything that he's interested in, he brings to HCAM and says, we should do a show on this. <laughs> so, um, so that is why he got the Michael J. Prade Award for his longtime dedication, and thank you very much for all that you do. Well, thank you. Dr. McLeod, how does it feel to come away with an award tonight? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm just delighted. It's just been a wonderful opportunity to work with HCAM. Um, throughout the time I've been here, really, and it was a great surprise. I feel really honored to have been awarded, and this will certainly have a place of honor in my office. I understand you helped uh, start the uh, TV club. How does it feel to be to say that you're a part of that and just watching it grow? Well, it's a lot of fun to watch it grow, and it's an extreme honor. Uh, I would say on behalf of Evan Bishop and myself that uh, we're extremely proud of what the students and Jim are producing and the credit truly goes to them and uh, we're appreciative of their efforts and we're just glad to to help be a small part of it so thank you all right and uh, dr carlin uh, you got the big award tonight <laughs> and you certainly deserved it uh, how does it feel to, to uh, win the award tonight fabulous and it's just it's been a pleasure to work with h cam and with jim and with all the crew here this crew has been fabulous and and uh, they've, they've done wonderful things for the State Medical Society. Uh, it's morphed a little bit, but uh, when they see all the expertise that was here in this studio and all the years that they did it, they're gonna, they'll be back for more. This is, uh, we've, we've got a lot more to do. I mean, it's, it's, it's wonderful, it's a great medium. Uh, community TV is really important. It certainly is, and it's, uh, it's been great working with you. Thank you very much. Thank you.